The uh, important question in the field uh, of prostate cancer is what I call variant histology, and specifically the small cell neuroendocrine uh, prostate cancer. Uh, the same uh, uh, concept, same notion, we have um, uh, variant histologies in other cancer types, and bladder cancer is uh, um, notorious of having predominantly urothelial histology, but also uh, a lot of bladder cancer variants like uh, neuroendocrine carcinoma of the bladder. So there has been an unmet need to uh, uh, genomically characterize and profile uh, those tumors. Uh, and uh, we have done work uh, in the past with Dr. Vadim Koskin and Omar Mian when I was back in the clinic uh, outlining uh, the molecular um, uh, characteristics of uh, neuroendocrine bladder cancer. Uh, this paper was published in Clinical Cancer Research. Uh, and uh, I uh, encourage the audience to review that paper. We looked at DLL3 and other potential therapeutic targets, as well as different um, molecular features of this disease. Uh, we continue the work with Dr. Necky, uh, Dr. Ross, and other colleagues from Foundation uh, Medicine uh, in order to try to characterize uh, patients with uh, neuroendocrine bladder cancer, which, as I mentioned, is a relatively rare uh, histologic type, uh, probably about, two, about 2% two of the bladder cancer cases. We're able to um, uh, perform genomic uh, uh, profiling, comprehensive genomic profiling in 92 clinically advanced neuroendocrine bladder cancer cases. And we try to evaluate uh, different uh, genomic changes, tumor mutational burden, TMB, as well as PD1 expression uh, based on the uh, DAC code 2C3 assay. Uh, overall, uh, we showed that uh, there are some differences between the classical conventional urothelial histology and the neuroendocrine bladder cancer histology. Uh, and these differences um, uh, are actually summarized by higher uh, frequency of RB1 and P53 genomic alteration um, in uh, neuroendocrine bladder cancer as, as expected. We have seen that in prostate cancer uh, histologists too, that we have higher frequency of altered RB1 and P53. And we saw significantly fewer, lower frequency of potentially actionable or targetable uh, therapy options uh, based on FGFR alterations, HER2 alterations, mTOR alterations, and possible uh, MAT2A, PRMT5 uh, potential inhibitors in patients with neuroendocrine histology, suggesting that it's much more difficult uh, to find actionable alterations uh, in neuroendocrine bladder cancer. Uh, and definitely we have to think about how we can target the undragable or untargetable targets, right? Like RB1 and P53. Can we think about synthetic lethality concepts and uh, try to uh, target those uh, conventionally characterized untargetable um, uh, alterations? Overall, uh, classical urothelial histology and neuroendocrine bladder cancer have similar rates of tumor mutational burden high status, so high TMB is sim similarly distributed between histology of urothelial and neuroendocrine bladder cancer, uh, which means that the, the immune support inhibitors uh, may be considering that there is many different data sets, including our own data sets with Dr. Miller, Dr. Kaki, and others that we showed that the response rates to checkpoint inhibitors for uh, neuroendocrine bladder cancer appears similar to urothelial histology. However, the survival is very short, even with checkpoint inhibitors in urothelial, uh, 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 specifically neuroendocrine uh, histology. So um, uh, neuroendocrine histology appears to have similar response rate, but lower survival than neuroendocrine histology, as opposed to the conventional urothelial histology uh, when you treat with checkpoint inhibitors. However, you know, we need to come up with more options for the patients. Uh, right, right now, platinum metoposide, uh, chemotherapy, uh, subsequent checkpoint inhibitors or other chemotherapy agents are being used. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to uh, identify more treatment options for patients with neuroendocrine bladder cancer in the future and identify further targets and biomarkers. Mm -hmm.